Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. School leaders violating state ethics laws conspiring to arrange teaching jobs for each other's kids. The State Ethics Commission says the Blackhawk District Superintendent and a Moon School Board member admitted to trading the jobs. The Blackhawk School Board is now taking action, as Jennifer Barrasso reports. The school board approved a motion to hire special counsel to begin the process to charge Blackhawk Superintendent with ethics violations, which could lead to his firing. The Blackhawk School Board also asked the Beaver County DA and the U.S. Attorney to investigate Superintendent Dr. Robert Postapak's ethics violations. The board took action after the State Ethics Commission released two reports regarding Dr. Postapak and longtime Moon School Board member Mark Scapey. According to the report, they both admitted to trading jobs for their children. Dr. Postapak's daughter got a job as a full time elementary teacher at Moon, and Scapey's son got a full time job as a gym teacher at Blackhawk. The report says Scapey's son didn't make it past the first round of interviews at Blackhawk. Superintendent Postapak then intervened, making sure he got the job. Then Scapey instructed Moon's acting superintendent, Dr. Donna Milanovic, to place Postapak's daughter on the school board agenda for an approval for a full time teaching job when none existed. She was hired as an elementary teacher. Each one was found guilty of violating ethics laws and was ordered to pay a $750 fine. Mark Scapey issued this statement I contested these allegations, but after thousands of dollars in legal expenses and facing even more costs, if we continued the the fight to a hearing. I accepted a $750 fine to settle and move on. The report goes on to say the superintendent filed false ethics reports for a number of years. He didn't list all the money and monetary value that he got, so they are making him file new ethics reports for 2016, 2017, and 2019. He didn't have anything to say after tonight's meeting ended. Do you have any message to say to the kids or students? Comments, sir? What do you think should happen to your superintendent? Um, I don't think it's going to end well for him. I know so many people who try to get teaching jobs and, wanna, and, and for that to happen, it's disgusting. I asked Moon's school board president what actions they may take. She told me at this point, no comment. In Beaver County, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.